Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In our previous lesson, we have learned how to create our own game and publish it online to Roblox. In this lesson, we're going to learn some new skills that are very crucial to game development. And that is how to position your camera to where you want to see your parts. For example, here in front of me, I have four different parts, but I can't really see them. So I need to move my camera closer so I can see them. Um, to move your camera in Roblox Studio is very similar to when you're moving your character inside the game. So you're using the WASD key to move. So for example, if I press W here, I'm going to move my camera forward. I'm kind of like zooming in to the parts. If I press S, I'm zooming out or I'm moving my camera out. And also, while I press the key, I also press the right mouse button. If you press the right mouse button and you hold it down, you can also move your camera. So with together with the keys, the W and the S key and the right mouse button, I can position my camera to where I want it. And I also have the A key and the D key to move left and right. So the A key is moving my camera left, the D key is moving my camera right. And again, I can press down the right mouse button to position the camera in the direction that I want. And in addition to that, I also have the Q key to move my camera down and the E key to move my camera up. So I'm pressing E now and then I'm pressing W. I can zoom in and with the help again with the right mouse button, I can zoom in to any part that I want. Another way to zoom into a part that you want is to select the part. So here if I select the part, and I press the F key and that put the part in focus. So let's use that to rename our parts. So now we're going to say this is a block and this one, I don't know what it is. So I select that part. I'm going to press the F key and that's a sphere. So we can rename that to sphere. And the last one here. I press, I select the part, press F, and that's a cylinder. So I'm going to rename that to cylinder. All right. So when you press, when you select the part first and press F, it's going to put that part into focus. And then you can use your camera to zoom out or zoom in or move left and move right with the, again, with the help of the right mouse button. I can see my world all around me. And also up here, you see there's a little thing up here. You can use that too to position your camera. For example, if I click on here, it's the right side of the board. If I continue to click around, this is the bottom. And this is the back side. And that's the top. Also, you can use your scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out. So now I cannot see anything because I'm too close in. So I want to zoom out. I'm going to use the scroll wheel and just pull the wheel backwards. So I'm zooming out. And now I can see some, some stuff. Again, with the uh, E key, I can move my board. The E and Q key. So I'm pressing Q now. And now I'm pressing E and I can press A, pressing D and pressing S. Now let's go back and select an object and put it in focus. All right. And I'm going to move my camera a little bit. Now, if I 
go and I press D and A, you see how fast the camera is moving? So uh, if you want to slow down the movement of your camera, you can press the shift key before you press the uh, before you move your camera. Press press and hold down the shift key before you move your camera and it slows down the movement. You see how slow it is as opposed to this? Without the shift key, it goes really fast. If I want to slow down the movement, press and hold the shift key down before pressing the D and the A key. All right, so those are all the different techniques of moving your camera in Roblox Studio. If you would like to have some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, you can go to our YouTube channel, Price CP Roblox, and click on the playlist here. We, we have a bunch of different playlists. Um, there are two good playlists for new beginners here. The first one is the Price CP Roblox New Beginner Series, which we are working on right now. And um, you can also go to Price CP Roblox Extreme Simple Series. Th this series is actually a very good series for new beginners. Um, just start with lesson number 001 and then go go in sequence, like go zero, from 01 to 0203 because each new lesson, um, the material is, uh, is based upon the material that you learned from the previous lesson. So if you go out of order, some of the um, material you may not be familiar with. All right, so until next time, have fun creating your own Roblox games.